Storms brewing, guys. Jurassic World Dominion is just three days away, and oh my god, it's going crazy! But we still gotta get to work. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another unboxing video, another LEGO one, of course, but this time, we're not doing the next one in order. I know, shock. What's going on? Is something wrong? Has the gate... Has this guy lost his mind? He's going out of order? Well, no, I just need to do this one because I have something else I want to unbox, but I can't until I do this, so I'm speeding it up a little bit. Even though, well, whatever. But we will be doing the others, don't worry, don't fear. We still will be doing the other ones. We'll still be doing the Pyraptor. We'll still be doing the Triceratops. And what's the other one? Uh, the blue set. Well, Velociraptor Blue. Don't worry, those ones are still coming, I just need to do the smallest one. And, of course, you know that means we are doing the one and only Atrociraptor set, with featuring Ghost the Atrociraptor, to be precise. And, did I get the name right? Oh, it has that dinosaur thing again, so it's actually Atrociraptor Dinosaur bike chase to be the full name, which I don't really think we still need the dinosaur part because, well, Trosraptor is obviously a dinosaur, but we are going to just, you know, uh, unbox it. And also, I just realized I forgot to do the close-ups of this, so I'll have to do that quickly before we start building, but if we take a look at this box, it's got awesome artwork, as you can see, with the Atrociraptor on the front and also on the side, because they always come from the side. But we'll look at the front first. And as you can see, it just shows Owen, Rain, and Atrociraptor Ghost in the Malta sequence, which, if you guys remember, this set does combine with the Malta set, which we'll get out in a, after we're finished building and combine them into one and just see how much better it looks. But also, of course, you see which characters we got. We got the Atrociraptor Ghost to be specific. We got Owen again in the same outfit and Rain, which I will state again. I do wish that either this set or the um, T Rex Atrociraptor set, one of them should have changed um, one of the characters to be like Barry or something. Like, they should have done that because, like, we need Barry for one because he's not in any of the sets. Also, we need, um, uh, what's her name? Zia. Zia's the name, I believe. Zia Rodriguez, I believe. Or is that the actor's actress's name? It's it's that character from Fallen Kingdom who was alongside Franklin Webb. You know, the paleo veterinarian. Like, we still don't have those two in the character. We don't even have Lewis Dotson, actually. Boy, they are just Do we even have Hold on, do we even have Mamadou Athi's character? No we no we don't. They're missing a lot of characters. Why are they putting like a hundred multiple versions of Owen Claire and this Rain guy who I still don't even know much about. Why are they having him? Oh my god, Lego, get your act together. You're missing key characters here. You've got frickin' Rain, who is probably basically gonna be in one scene, and then die probably. Wh wh where's Barry? What's going on? But, anyway, let's just ignore that part, but this set, the smallest one there is, surprisingly with one of the most important dinosaurs from the film, the main Atrociraptor, which is kind of a shock to the system, I must say, because in the last two movies for their LEGO sets, we had just the Pterandon, which was because it was Pterandon, nothing too special, just a small set for anyone who just wanted a LEGO Jurassic World set, but this one breaks that formula, and while still being a small set, of course, this time features a main dino. Like, they could have included one of the other Atrociraptors but, and put Ghost in the um, bigger set, but no. Their biggest um, star for, like, the Atrociraptors, they put in the smallest set, so... I mean, I'm not complaining, because this is gonna get picked up by a lot of kids, but looking at the back, oh god, back of the box, we see that there is also some more dioramas showing how the thing works with showing more of Ghost and also Owen Grady also has another motorcycle which is good because then you can reenact the sequence that is in the movie which I still haven't seen but it's so close and also shows some more of the CD back um, yard of Malta which also I love how it just goes with the background of Malta actually and showing the cages actually which pretty cool though I can't see where it actually connects maybe it's um 
this archway or something, probably there. But also comes with some baby dinos actually, which you can pretend those to be whatever you want. I'm gonna probably use the green one as a compi, but whatever. But I think we should waste no more time here because we've got 169 pieces to put together. So let's get on to it. And only 16 minutes exactly later, very satisfying, we have the second part of Malta ready! <laughs> But wait, 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 no, it's not complete, because, what's this here? Oh, yeah, that's right, it is time to do something in the franchise that has not been done with LEGO, and that is to combine them. And there we go, now, oh god, there we go, now it is complete, behold, the full Malta set! So. And well, I gotta say, this just looks a thousand times better already. Like, this set alone just kind of looks very naked now. Like, if it's not with this part, it just feels so empty. Like, and I know it's because it's a small set. Although, considering how creative the other um, small sets are, like the Jurassic World and Ronnie's helicopter and the um, sort of like Jeep sort of thing, those ones sort of felt a lot bigger for what they were even though realistically they I think they had both had less pieces I could be wrong on that but this one it just felt so empty which is why if it weren't a combined set and just like was its own separate set I would probably rank this as the lowest which kind of would make sense because it is the smallest which usually the smaller ones aren't as creatively done as like big ones like these ones or the Giga set but I, I gotta say, this set is absolutely amazing. I will stand by my opinion that, like, for two things that are wrong with this set. The first is obviously that we need different characters. Like, we could have easily had this be the set with, um, Zia or, you know, even just Kayla. Like, they could have changed this to any of the characters that aren't in the sets. Like, we could have had one with, um, Franklin. Oh, wait, no, not Franklin. He's in, um, the Triceratops set. Sorry, my bad. We could have had Zia in this set, so you wouldn't have to get the Junior set, which feels like the only reason why people would get the Junior set. It's because if they want Zia, that's the only way to get her, which is a little unfortunate. It's a little bit of a cheeky move by um, Lego, but uh, I can't change that. But for those who want Zia, you have to get that set. But they could have usually had her and Barry, and then you would have had both those... Oh, that goes Owen, he's dead. But anyway, you could have easily just changed Rain for um, Barry. It would have been so much better. But let's get on to the positives. And the fact that it comes with Ghost is definitely what makes this a highlight set. Because I would not have expected um, this Atrociraptor specifically to be the one that you would get in the smallest set. Like, yes, I would expect her to be in this set. But no, instead you get... Um, I think this is supposed to be like tiger or, or either panther or tiger, I can guarantee that. But 
No, you get Ghost in the smallest set, which is a nice refresher compared to, you know, it always being the Tyrandon, so I will say that's definitely a positive. Also, like the Atrociraptor, the sculpt is amazing, and of course, actually is pretty in scale with um, the di not the dinosaurs, with the humans, so that's another bonus. Unfortunately, claws and toe claws are not painted again, which is a little unfortunate, but I could easily do that myself. I've got the paint, but still, I'm... I'm critiquing this for what it is. Comes with some baby dinos as well, which really helps set the multi sequence because, like, it is a dinosaur black market. And this really feels it. You got the rusty looking truck that's holding a big trailer for actually both of the Atrociraptors because one of the things that I didn't realize when building this was um, why this was shaped the way it is because it's positioned in a way where, like, you place one of the Atrociraptors and they're sort of not really proper like you know if you look at it like this it's not right but then i realized actually when i finished this one in the instructions book it actually shows what you do you actually just put the other cross wrapped on and then you put both of them in the truck which let me make sure it actually works yeah it does and you have two Atrociraptors in there, which is just nice. It, they made sure that like everything would work for both these sets. And the fact that they look like they are just one big set is even better. It doesn't feel like they are actually separate apart from, you know, the little clip that's obviously for them. And it's actually formatted in a nice way where you could have like a little scene, like say you're playing with Claire and one of the Atrociraptors. You have the, you have Claire running away. She jumps from the, from this, um, roof to down here and then Owen's like going through with his motorcycle with ghosts chasing him and they sort of converge. Atrociraptor falls onto the other one. Both of them meet up. Claire gets on the motorbike with them, drive to the helicopter, and then they get away with these two trying to get them. That That's just one scene idea. You could come up with so many even with the T-Rex here for God's sake. And I, I don't think the T-Rex is supposed to actually be in Malta, I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be in the Biosyn facility, given what the Dominion prologue showed us. But who knows what it is. But that's going to wrap up this video, guys. It is the last LEGO unboxing. Well, actually, no, we still have the other three. But technically, when I put a play playlist, it'll actually be the last one. But, you know, it was awesome. Ranking of this set on its own probably will make it... um one of the lower ones to be honest but you get what you pay for in definitely this set like it's small and cheap and you get one of the biggest dinosaurs in the franchise for this film actually so it's a win only problem is that we still don't have the other two atrociraptors but who knows maybe they'll release other lego sets but until those come out if they do anyway leave a like as i'd appreciate it and if you haven't already do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt as we are almost at 3,000 subscribers and until next time guys i'll see you later and be safe Bye bye